Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Alicia, and welcome. Please consider dropping a like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started right into this video. So today, I will be trying out some polishes that I got from Madam Glam, and I picked these five different colors as well. So here are the colors that I got. It's pretty random. Honestly, I just wanted something different, but also something that will be suited for the Christmas sets that I got in mind. So I'll show you guys the swatches of these different polishes and then we'll get started right into the nail video. First, I have this cat eye color and it's called Persian Night. This is so cool. It has like this pink layer over it, but the base is like this dark color, but it's really mesmerizing to look at. I love cat eye. Next, I have Frizzante. Frizzante. I think that's how you say it. Next, I have Perfect Orange. Ooh, this one's a nice neon orange. Next, I have Perfect White. This really does live up to the name. It is Perfect White. Now, last but not least, I have Buzz. Oh my gosh, this green would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day, but we're not there yet. Here are all of the swatches of the gel polishes. I am loving these colors so much, and I love the cat eye. I didn't really have enough cat eye polishes, so I wanted to add more to my roster, and I just wanted to do a Christmas set with the cat eye. So that's why you see there's like three different ones. But now that I've shown you guys all of the colors, let's get started onto the nail prep. So I'm going to glue on these 3XL coffin tips. I also wanted to add, I already put on some top coat, so I'm going to use the same one to glue on the tips. Next, I'm going to clip these tips down. Now I'm going to file the sides of the nail and also the tip. Reason why I do this is so that the tip fits nice and snug on my natural nail. Sometimes it might be a little bit out of place, so this is a way that I do it. I'm going in with my e-file and I'm using my sanding band to file the tip where it meets the natural nail. Okay, now that we're done with all of this prep, let's get started on the poly gel application. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing in this video. I know I really want to use the cat eye, so I'm thinking I'm going to just do like a freestyle. All right, as far as the poly gel goes, these are the colors that I'm going to be using. It's going to be a very simple base because most of the attention is going towards the gel polish. I'm just going to add in the white poly gel, the nude, and the clear. I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution. I'm going to start off with the thumb first, so I'm going to use these nail decals and just apply it straight onto the nail. So I'm going to add my base coat and this will be like the glue to attach these decals onto. Alright, now that this is done, let's actually get started on the poly gel application. 
For those who don't know, I like to work my way around the cuticle first. So I start by tapping it and getting it as close to the cuticle area as possible. And once I have that situated with, I like to spread it around, make sure that it's not flooding the side walls. And it's best to lightly pat the poly gel. You don't want to be too aggressive. And once I start working around the apex area, I like to put my brush at an angle so that it's giving the apex a bit of like a hump, if that makes sense. You don't want it to be too flat. Sometimes there's like bubbles in the poly gel. That usually happens when I'm pushing the poly gel at the tube and then there's like an air bubble, but I just get like a tweezer and just pop it. And then I go back in with my brush and then just spread the poly gel around to cover up that little crater. But as y'all can see, I'm spreading the poly gel around, but I'm doing it in the way that doesn't ruin the apex. Cause like I said, there still needs to be a bit of structure there. And then as I get towards the end of the bead, I apply a bit more pressure so that the poly gel thins out at that area. And then that's what creates that gradient look. Now that I'm done with the nude part, I like to add the clear poly gel. And this is the part where I like to build the structure of the nail since it's still thin around the area where the decals are. And since I also wanted the decals to show through and pop out, I just use a clear poly gel. I also wanted to add this part is a bit tricky if you're not too careful about how you're laying your decals, because if they're not flat enough, if you're applying the poly gel, sometimes the decals can stick through. And it's very apparent when you're filing the nails and sometimes you file the part where the decal sticks out and then there's like a little mini crater at that area and it just looks very weird, especially when you're applying top coat. So it's best to make sure that everything is situated with before you apply the poly gel so you don't have to deal with the hassle later. For the rest of the nails, they're all going to be one color. And since I'm doing one solid color, I like to do the 2B method since my nails are a bit longer this time. For me, I like to think of this as the same method as I use with the ombre, but opposite. Instead of putting a bead near the cuticle first, I put it near the tip of the nail first. And I just work my way up. And I might sound redundant if you've watched my other videos, but I like to spread the poly gel out first and then making sure that of course you want to look at it from the front view to make sure that it's all even and then to get that crisp shape you want to swipe the sides with the brush as you see me do it here i just take the side of my brush and just swipe the sides there's so much going on when applying poly gel and making sure that the structure looks nice you really have to make sure that everything is in order because you want everything to be consistent throughout and nothing should look out of place and i always stress about the application process because then it makes the filing process quicker.
Now for this one, I wanted it to be a white color for the full nail. I find that working with white poly gel, it tends to stain more. For example, when I dip my brush back into my slip solution, it tends to leave like this white murky residue. So if you're working with white poly gel or any white acrylic as well, you have to make sure to like really wipe your brush real well on the paper. These are looking really lumpy, so I'm going to file them and try to get them as nice as possible. All right, I finished filing and buffing these nails out. Now let's get started right into this nail art. I think I'm going to start off with this cat eye and I'm going to use this one only, only because the other ones don't really fit together all too well. So I'm going to start off with the these two nails, the pointer and the ring finger and just do one layer. Well, two layers of course of the cat eye. I really worried about how this might turn out because I usually put like a black backdrop for the cat eye but let's see how it looks on the nude. Okay. Actually, it doesn't look half bad. Not too bad. 
But let's see with the magnet. I want to see how it looks. So I'm going to use like this rectangle side of my magnet. Of course, you want to have the magnet actually facing the gel polish and then just swipe it. And it just moves the gel polish, which is really cool. I'll do a second layer. I'll do this one, cure it, and then do a second layer. Y'all are probably wondering, why is this girl doing so many swipes of this gel polish? I want to make sure that everything is covered, so I'm being very thorough. I've probably said this before, but these Madame Glam polishes are very subtle in their scent. Like, if you're a person who's sensitive to the way polishes smell, these are very, very minimal, and that's what I love about these polishes. I don't know if that's the vegan ingredients in them. I want to guess that's what it is, but whatever they're doing, it's great. I'm going with my cat eye magnet again. Also, I wanted to point out that the magnet didn't come with any of these gel polishes. So if you're planning on buying cat eye gel polishes, I would suggest getting your own magnet. It has like double lines. That's pretty cool. As I probably noticed, I keep switching the different sides of the magnet. That's because one side of the magnet pulls and the other one pushes. Wow, look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this cat eye. So, so cool. Okay, so we're not done with the cat eye just yet. I'm going in with this finger and it's going to be a French tip. And I'm using the same cat eye gel that I used with the other two fingers. Oh, I just wanted to show you how I applied the gel polish so because I've gotten this question before um, I usually like to do thin layers and depending on how pigmented the polish is I might do two different layers once I take out the polish I push the brush against the bottle the opening and try to get the excess out as much as possible not too much because you still need some of that polish and then you apply it Before I cure it, I know you're not supposed to do this with your bare hands, you're supposed to use gloves, but just for the sake of this like little tutorial, I'll just show y'all. But I usually wipe the excess off of the sides because I feel like if you don't do this, sometimes the gel polish just like makes this like bulky layer at the ends and it doesn't look as sharp and like crisp with the shape. So I always just swipe the sides and of course if there's like bits of like um, craters in there you just want to keep swiping that polish over it so that it looks like it's filled in. It should look just like this. And I'm doing the same thing that I did with the other nails. So I'm getting my little magnet here just pointing it towards the nail and I'm just going to create that line. It's giving starry night with these nails. I might as well just add some gold stars and call it a day because I'm I'm obsessed with this gel. Like I, I don't even know what to say. Madam Glam, y'all outdid it with this. Seriously, because this is gorgeous. I can't wait to try the others, but we'll do those in another set. I'm going to add my little bow tie on top of the French tip.
Now I'm going in with the white polish and I'm going to add the bits of details. So like the snowflakes, the dots, and some stars. I'm going in with my dotting tool. I'm just going to add the placements for the dots. Then I'm getting my long liner brush and I'm just going to line up the dots. Yeah, this is a bit crooked, so I'm just going to redo this. is not coming out right. So I kind of made a last minute decision. I'm going to put some sugar glitter on top of these. I think it will elevate this set just nicely. I probably should have put top coat on these nails first, but I think I can go without it. Next, I'm going to cure these nails. I'm not going to wipe them off just yet. Okay, seems like I ran into an issue. The glitter won't come off of this nail in particular. Yeah, maybe I should have put the top coat beforehand. Don't do what I did, guys. This is very strange how I can't seem to get the glitter off. Like it's not coming off at all, but this nail is completely fine. Very bizarre. So I rubbed a bit of acetone that seems to be working. 
at this point I'm just trying to get all of the excess glitter off seems to be working okay it seems like this actually worked so it wasn't all too bad although some of the glitter on the snowflake came off a bit but I don't think it turned out that bad now I'm going to head back in with the cat eye gel I'm going to create these stripes like you usually see with Christmas sets So I'm pretty much done with all of the details and the design, so let's get started on the top coat. I'm going to apply that as my last step. Okay, I ultimately decided I will put on some top coat for these, but the tricky part is I can't really just apply it like I normally would. I would have to use a liner brush to get in between the glitters which is why you put top coat beforehand Next, I'm going to put on some cuticle oil. I am just so in love with these nails. And after that little mishap, I'm so glad that I was able to bounce back and get it to be such a beautiful set. The cat eye is just gorgeous. 
and it's just so fun to play around with as well although i i didn't really do too much with it i did like the little generic line but i still think it's really really good and i'm glad i added the addition of the sugar glitter and the bow just ties it all together just nicely and i was a little nervous about how this little striped nail was gonna turn out but it turned out really really good but one thing i'm kind of getting sick of is having the thumb just stick out like i don't know why i can never get it to stick on theme like the other nails all just go well together and then here's the thumb but i don't think this turned out too bad i think it looks pretty good especially with this iridescent glow to these decals it just looks so special but wow guys i'm just obsessed you know what, let me put this in the dark and let's see how it looks with the flash on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It looks even better in the dark with the flash. Guys, if this doesn't convince y'all to press that link in my bio and buy this cat eye gel, then I don't know what to tell y'all. But Madam Glam, if y'all are listening to this video, y'all officially win, you win. You have the best cat eye gel hands down but guys tell me what do y'all think about these nails if y'all are feeling this set i want y'all to put a black and purple heart in the comments but tell me what do you guys think if you enjoyed this video please like it if you would like to see more content from me please subscribe thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye